All right, we just caught a nice Eater Northern this morning. So we're gonna show you how to take the Y bones out. I was taught this technique by uh, Earl and he's uh, the filet master. So I'm gonna pass this along to you guys here and show you how to get the Y bones out of these Northern. Um, I have basically one Northern already filleted here. Just uh, however you get to that point, I use an electric, some people, you know, it's, it's a normal fillet process to get to this point. However, you would normally fillet any game fish will get you to this point. But we had one final step with the Northern. We have the Y bones, which you can see <clears throat> if I hold the fillet like this, we have the top end of the Y, and then this is our other end, the lateral line. So everything funnels towards the fat part of the fish, the top side. So we're going to take a cut along here and then we're going to come in underneath to meet that cut and basically we'll be able to lay our knife down there peel that out and that part can be kept um it'll have all the bones in it that part can be kept if uh, you do pickling or anything of that sort it's still a good piece of meat uh, if you want to use that some people will keep it some people won't but um again we have the top side of the bone and we have the bottom side of the bone and then everything goes towards the top side of the fish so it doesn't go all the way back it falls short a few inches so i'm going to start there i'm going to lay my knife and i can hear those bones already so i'm just laying my knife till i hear those bones to get a, a line started so that's what it should look like and then the knife will slowly curl towards the top of the fish. You can actually see my knife along those bones. You can see them in there. So we're gonna keep doing that to get towards the top of the fish. Some of these bones do go quite far. Some fish, uh, it's a little less. So you just let your knife feel out what they're doing. Um, so I'm gonna do that several times till I feel like I'm far enough up that fish and then once I feel I've gone far enough in, I'll come up, lay my knife a little bit sideways and try to meet the under part of that bone and keep almost upward pressure on that. So I can feel those bones actually on the, on the top side of my knife now. So I'm gonna do that several times. You can actually hear those bones in there. And I'm just laying along there and I'm meeting up with that other cut. So I'm kind of where I want to be on that. So I'm gonna just gonna tag that front and get her started. Basically just lay my knife in and I'm gonna pull these out. I gotta do that one a little further. Okay. And then basically I'm just pulling that out now. Just meeting up with that cut. And here you have your bones. Again, you could keep that piece of meat or you can discard it, but now I have a perfectly boneless filet. And this one's gonna be a take home. Um, we're gonna take it home here. So we are in Canada. We're gonna have to leave a little bit of tag skin on it, but we're gonna finish that filet. And again, however you do this, regular knife, I use electric but we're not going to cut all the way through that skin and then we're going to flip it over it's still attached and then we're going to just cut inch or inch and a half of skin so now we have a perfectly good northern filet and that's what it'll look like it says no bones in there i'm going to show you one more time on the other filet so again you can see these bones if you pick that filet up, we have their top side, and then we have along our lateral line is the other set. So again, lay the knife along the top side, just making a small incision, just till I feel those bones. Just want to start to feel them. Then I'll start to lay that knife along them. And again, I'm just letting the fish dictate where my knife goes. And I'm just going along. Okay, I like that. And then I'm gonna come underneath again, along the lateral line. Go a little bit sideways with the knife.
and make a few passes. Then I'm going to just get that started and that one came out a little easier. So again, you can keep that piece. So I just feel in there too, make sure I got all those bones and I did. So we're gonna, again, we're taking this home. So we're gonna leave a little, little bit of skin on there. Flip that over. And there you have it. Perfect Northern Filet. So thank you. Hope you learned something. And thanks again to Earl for teaching me that. It's a great trick. And uh, thanks for watching.